GPA's John Beneventi met in London last week with as many as 10 different insurance underwriters, each with a piece of the GPA insurance coverage. Beneventi says he explained the current state of the plant and that they still not have been able to fully investigate the cause of the August 31st explosion. I've assured them that there will be independent uh, uh, investigations done not only by ourselves but by the by, but the fully independent person, uh, independent of even the machine designer and the machine manufacturer, so that we can get to the bottom of this because, again, no, one's a, no one has a bigger stake in this than we do. Beneventi says it may be another three months before the plant is rendered safe enough for full inspections, but he also says no matter the cause of the explosion, be it equipment failure or human error, it will not impact coverage. And I asked that question, is there anything that will prevent us from being covered? And the answer I'm getting back is no, I think we're covered for all those different scenarios. Will the amount, uh, the settlement amount, vary depending on what was the cause of the uh, explosion? Not that I understand. Ironically, while Beneventi was in London, the island was plunged into three days of load shedding, something which he said would only occur if additional units came offline. And they did. Leadership needs to act with a sense of urgency. The governor in his weekly address apologized to customers for the outages and called out Beneventi and other leaders to do likewise. In terms of an apology, of course, uh, uh, no, you know, no one likes this situation. We're here to serve. We're apologetic that the situation of load setting have to occur. Uh, we can say that we're doing everything that we can to bring the system back. Beneventi says he will meet this week with Adeloup officials to explain the plan, but admits the next three months will be the most vulnerable while they wait for additional generation capacity to come online. For Guam's News Network, I'm Nestor Laconto.